for Good, Good evening, evening San, Antonio. San Antonio. It is that wonderful time of the evening, and we are back. It is the Hollaback Girl, Harley Quinn, and two across from me is... The Adomad Hatter Deke Rivers. And before we we get on a serious note, I need all the parents to leave the room. Just leave the room. All parents leave. Right now. Right now. Leave. Leave. Okay. This, this part's just now for the kids. We'll wait this part's for you. just for the we'll kids. wait for you guys to leave, parents. <laughs> That's this okay. we'll, for just the kids. Talk among, we'll just talk amongst ourselves. So, kids, are, watching kids are they gone? Game? Right. Yeah, I think they're gone. I okay, think they're kids, gone. are they gone? Okay, listen, I'm watching the sports game. Well, listen, I got a message for you. After this, your parents can come back in the room, but this, this is just solely for you kids. When you get to school, act the fool, eat a lot of candy, and forget everything you've been taught. Okay, parents, you can come back now. <laughs> okay, tell them our mission statement. What do we live by in our everyday lives? Our everyday yes. lives is, is, is if you don't like us, that's too bad, because God sent us to piss the world off. All now, right. parents, come on back. This and is your part of the show. Children, you can leave now. <laughs> and this is another exciting edition of Don't Trip on Our Mushrooms. And boy, do we have a lot to say, because there has been plenty of stuff in the news and stuff in general that we needed to discuss. So, first things first. I'll go first. I just want to say we need to talk about, we need to give a congratulations right now to the Duke and Duchess on the birth of their little baby princess girl. She is so adorable. Yes, congratulations, Kate and William. I can't wait to see what they're going to name the little princess. I bet she's already spoiled. She probably hasn't even been a couple of, she's probably not even a couple of hours old and she's already spoiled. Mm -hmm. I just know it. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let Deke go first. What do you want to say, Deke? First off, before we get started, kids, I hope you're not in the room no more because this part is the part of the show where I get cray cray. Okay. Fuck the Illuminati before we get started. Yeah, fuck them, because we just don't like Okay, him. first off, here, I need to go off on some stuff that I've been seeing a lot lately. been pissing me off. Okay, let me get on Bruce Jenner here for a second. Yes, please do, because then I'm going to have my Ladies and gentlemen, say. let me say this. You all are a bunch of ignorant, dumbass motherfuckers if you believe his bullshit, because I don't. First off, he need to quit at acting the clown. I already know that he's doing that shit for publicity. He does not have me snowed for one second. He, he may have the rest of you fooled and brainwashed, but brother, this is one person you ain't gonna fool and you ain't gonna brainwash me. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna let Harley take it now because I'm not gonna go off on this shit no more. Harley knows more or less the thing. I don't give two shits either way, but go ahead, Harley. Okay, here's my 411 or my info on this that I also think it's a hoax because I can sniff these things out a mile away. Hello, I'm the one that sniffed out Michael Jackson. Some stupid shit was gonna happen with Michael Jackson. Two days before his apparent show that everyone, oh my god, everyone was going nuts over. But that's for a different day, so have a seat, Michael. We'll get to you in a second. But right now, okay, so we were, so did you watch the interview with um, Bruce Jenner? No, but I saw clips of it on YouTube. Okay, so in the interview, he was like talking to Diane Sawyer, why not, why not, why not, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then, so Diane Sawyer's like asking him questions, like if he's going to have a reassignment surgery and all this other bull. And then he's he's all like nonchalant about it, like looking at fucking, I don't know what the hell he was looking at, but he wasn't making any eye contact with her. And he was all like laughing and giggling like it was some kind of joke saying like, no, nah, I don't need that because I'm on the hormones or whatever. And I'm like, okay, first of all, let me just say this to you, Deke, and to everyone sitting in this room listening to our show who is a part of this show, Mr. Buddy Cash, Miss Jenny Lee, Miss Lady Cakes, and Figaro, who's asleep on the top of the stairs. That's fucking bullshit. And don't you believe one fucking word that man says because I don't believe it. And let me tell you why. Because anybody who is transgender will tell you, guy or girl, that they would like to have their sexual assignment surgery. Remember, remember when Chaz Bono was transitioning yeah. or whatever? That she wanted to have her, her surgery. She got the top done. Or, I'm sorry, he got the top done but not the bottom because they say it's harder to, it's easier to make a hole than a pole, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, um, anyways, he says, um, so he's like, no, I'm not going to get the surgery because that doesn't matter to me. And I was like, okay, that's the first one that I don't believe. And then secondly, he's all worried about his family seeing him in dresses and things like that. I was like, weren't you the one who was just talking about Kim and Kanye and Courtney and Chloe and all, and, and, uh, Shibley and all them other, I don't know 
know what all the Kardashians' names are. But I, but he's all talking like, oh, they like it, this, that, and the other. I was like, okay, if you are, yeah, you're in this middle of this transition or whatever, but you've had a year, a year for everyone to get used to you seeing you in a dress and lipstick or whatever. Okay, a year is long enough for me to get used to someone changing something about them. Be it hair, be it genders, I'm just saying, I could get used to it. You know what I'm saying? And if yeah. you're not open-minded as these Kardashians claim to be, then they're full of shit. I'm sorry, I don't buy this whole Bruce Jenner thing. I'm uh, Look, I'm not going to deny or, you know, speak for whatever, because it, it is what it is. If he's going through something, more power to you, Bruce, because you might be going through something or whatever. However, I feel like you have a ticky boom, and there's something else wrong with you. And I feel like this is one huge hoax, like for a movie or for a television show or something, like Joaquin Phoenix. Did you re- do you remember Joaquin Phoenix? Okay, yep. let me break it down yep. because not everybody might know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, like two or three. No wait. So many younger fans out there might know this. uh, I would say six or seven years ago, right after Walk the Line, Joaquin Phoenix grew his hair out and the beard and said he was quitting acting to become a rapper. And he started, like, showing up on, like, The Letterman and all this other stuff, um, saying that he was quitting and and he didn't want to be an actor no more. And that was it. Okay. And then he started doing, like, all this crazy stuff, like, um, beating up people and showing up in, and, and, oh, yeah, go ahead and get them. Sorry, that's Buddy Cash. He's just asking for some cookies. He's on the payroll. (laughs) Anyways, so, and then he started doing, like, weird random stuff, right? And I was like, oh, there's something wrong with it. And, like, they kept saying everything that I kept reading about it. They're like, it sounds like a hoax or somebody's movie cameras were running or whatever. So that's what I think about. That's that is what I think about Bruce Jenner. I think this whole thing is some like publicity stunt or something for a show or for some movie that he's gonna do or whatever. And this ain't real. And it's pissing me off that people aren't are trying to embrace him because the minute that it's revealed that it was all a hoax or some kind of joke or whatever, then they're gonna be pissed that they actually believed it. So I'm just like, whatever, I'm going to sit over here in the corner, I'm going to watch this unfold, because I know this is bullshit. Hey, well, you know it is. It, that ain't even a question. I'm just like, I can't. I cannot right now. I can't deal with it. I'm not going to. I don't want to deal with it. I'm just like, it's it's not even it's not even for real. Okay, I'm long-winded on that. What do you want to say? He's eating a cookie, you all. Uh, excuse me. No, I agree with what Harley said, and I pretty much think she's right. I am right, because I, I, I call these things, just like I call the full house thing, and you kept telling me, you kept telling me that hey. I was cray-cray, and that the full house thing, when Jesse and the Rippers performed on, what was it, Fallon? Yeah. Or Kimmel or something? Wasn't wasn't um for the reunion show or whatever. It was like it's for a reunion show. Why else would a fake band go on TV? Yeah, that wasn't really actually an authorized band. Yeah, yeah I was like, why else would they go on TV with the cameras rolling? Well, then technically that'd be like saying that the monkeys had never actually performed. But the, but the monkeys actually released albums under the name the monkeys. Jesse and the Rippers never. I don't have a freaking record on my phone of Jesse and the Rippers. Don't worry, I'll wait. Have a seat. You on know, that. I know what I'm just saying. If you want to be technical about it, I'm just saying. But there's a huge difference. The monkeys were, yeah, they were a TV show in the '60s, but they were also a band. They're a band now. They've been around forever. They actually have records under the name The Monkeys. Oh yeah, this is for you, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now I'm gonna say something. How the fuck can you put a bunch of fake ass bands in there, like Green Day? Oh, we're still giving out the Green Day shirts for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 2015. And you put my boy Ringo in there, but no monkeys. I'm just saying. We're just saying. We're just saying. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Uh, the part, I don't think the parts are, are they in there? Yeah, David is. David Cassidy is. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I'm just saying. Oh, did you did you hear that the little girl that played Tracy from the Partridge family passed away? I heard that. I know. I'm just like I can't. Oh, and for the, for those blues fans that are like BB me, King if you love in the, blues, in the hospice. Yeah. He's in hospice. They said that he was dead, but he didn't die. He's in hospice. Yeah. 
which is pretty damn close to one foot in the glue factory. Yeah, pretty much. So we love you and we respect you and we'll, we'll miss you. And um, we would love for you to be a guest on the show if you're feeling well enough. If not, we'll just we'll we'll just we'll we'll put that invitation for you on the back burner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. blue can you get? I love that song. Oh, no, that's a good song. Um. What else? There was something you wanted to... Oh, talk about Sting. You wanted to... Uh, I'm just going to give a shout-out to my boy from WWE, Sting. I uh, hope you come back soon. I can't wait to see to see your feud unfolding with... Uh, what, what's the guy's name? Daniel Bryan. Uh, not Daniel Bryan. The... No, Bo Dallas. Why the hell did I mention... Anyway, so shout-out to Sting and Chris Jericho. And by the way, Chris, I, I love your podcast... You rock. I hope to be I hope to be a guest on your show one day. Just like I hope you'll be a guest on ours. But I'm just throwing that invitation out there for the both of you. Anyway, moving on. Oh, um, the UFC thing with uh, the green. Moving president. on. No, tell them I want to know about it because I wasn't paying Moving on from time. well, from what I heard, I I don't know if this is true or not, but I've been hearing rumors that CM Punk is gonna fight Jason David Frank, and I also heard there was a grapevine, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I was. I was reading a lot of rumors and fan facts on Facebook that there may be a feud between Jason David Frank and The Undertaker from WWE, which would be actually interesting. I would love to see that. That that would be really interesting. Okay, now before we get to my favorite part of the show, Jack White says we have to give another shout-out to another Jack. Yeah. Jack Houston, oh, yes. Boardwalk yes, Empire, yes, 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 who yes. has who has like literally liked a bunch of my photos on Facebook. Like, I just can't believe it happened. I just happened to randomly don't know how it happened. <laughs> my my finger accidentally pressed the wrong button and uploaded some pictures on my Instagram of him. I'm just saying. And so I told him I would give him a shout out on DTube. So yes, Jack, this is your part of the show now, you know. We are inviting you to be a guest on the show. If you would like to come and hang out with us, we could be goofy together. We could talk about whatever you want. I don't care. Deacon doesn't care because Deacon's on the payroll. He <laughs> does what I tell him to do. Yeah, no, I, I think that would actually be interesting because I would like to ask him questions kidding. about Boardwalk and Empire. And he also just had a, I think today or something I read on Instagram that he had a movie opening in Turkey. Don't know where that is, but I hear it's delicious. <laughs> Pun intended. Okay, now it's time for Jack White Says. I'm so excited. This is my favorite yeah, part. Yeah, it's time for the Jack White Corner, <gasps> followed shortly by the Fifth Harmony Corner, which is going to be short, and sweet, and random. Okay, go ahead, Harley. Just in case you don't know, I am truly, madly, deeply, passionately in love with Jack White. Although he doesn't know it, and that's fine because it may, it gives it adds an aura of mystery to our relationship, right? Right. Well, he hasn't really said anything a whole lot special, but he did something really cool. After touring for this whole year for his album, Lazaretto, which is amazing, I suggest if you do not, if you haven't heard it, go listen to it right freaking now because it's we'll amazing. Wait. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait for, for, well, you can do that after the show because we want you to listen to us. But um, after touring for a year, he's all like, I'm getting tired or whatever. So he did his li last five shows all acoustic and is like, okay, I'm taking a break because I'm getting tired and I'm – and he's almost 40, so he he don't got the stamina no more to be all over there. But that's okay because he's, he's an old man and I still love him. <laughs> and – uh, we would also like to have him as a guest on the show, but that's far-fetching. That's okay. Oh, we can, um, we can speaking, work of, something speaking out. of which, Harley, I hate to interrupt you, but I, I just want to make a comment really quick pertaining to some somebody that I truly admire, admire and tr that I truly respect a lot. Yeah. Speaking of singers, I want to give a shout-out to the Valenzuela family, who I because I know Richie's birthday is coming up on the 13th. So I want to say hello to the Valenzuela family, and also that I respect Richie a lot, and I love his music. And as long as there's music, he'll always be alive. So. Oh, and okay, well, now Jack White says it's over, but I also, on top of that, want to say that was it April 16th or the 17th? April 16th was the day that Eddie Cochran passed away, and yeah. then I think April 17th and 18th was when they had the, um, was it the La Flor Festival or something for Selena on, yeah. in Corpus Christi? And that brings me back to my next subject. Here we go. But before we get to that, I just wanna, I'm just going to talk about Fifth Harmony really quick. 
because I love them. I think they're incredible. They're incredible. Anyway, been winning a lot of awards. Congratulations, girls. Anyway, go ahead, Harley. Okay. Um. So J Lo performed on the Billboard Music Award thing in Spanish, and um, she was gonna. She did a tribute to Selena. Okay. The outfit was great. But let's just let's just let me just holla at everyone for a second here because I just have to say it was so nice to see J Lo being Hispanic again, even if it was for five minutes. Yeah, I totally said that. Um, I know she doesn't have the voice or whatever, but to me, and I said it before, and I'll say it again, and I say it straight to her face that I felt like she doesn't capture the ins- essence and the humility and humble humbleness that was Selena and. You know, she would never, ever be Selena, but I thought it was good, and her tribute was good, and she looked cute and fit, and she was crying, and she sang with Chris, and A, B, and Suzette. Los it's Dinos. about time they, they actually include Chris in any damn thing, yeah. but we won't open up that We're one. not going to talk about that because we have respect for Selena, so we'll discuss that later on. Yeah. NT Wizzles. Um, what else? There was something else we wanted to talk about. Yeah. Oh, I was going to tell you all. Have you all seen the new Batman movie yet? The cartoon one, the Batman vs. Robin? Here I thought the plot line was going to be a totally different way. I was thinking Robin was Dick Grayson. But evidently it's not. I, I found something interesting out. I didn't know Batman had a son. Evidently there was just a movie out recently called Son of Batman. And evidently he finds out that he has, to, has a son from none other than Catwoman. Okay. okay, and he was living with these bunch of ninjas. Okay, before you finish, am I in it, and do I look fabulous? No, you're not, and no one cares. <laughs> I have, I'll i have you know, in today's promotional pictures, I am wearing a really expensive, like, pantsuit, okay? <laughs> yeah, it was Hashtag exactly... my pajamas. <laughs> it was exactly $2 at Target. At Walmart. You're like, it was on sale! It was on sale! <laughs> it was on sale at Walmart. Anyway... <laughs> No, you, no, Harley, you're not in it. Damn it. But anyway, like I was saying, according to, to what I was uh, watching, evidently Batman's son is trained by ninja assassins. Then he comes to, to Gotham to live with his father. And so in this one that I was watching, evidently Batman goes off to fight, uh, fight these evildoers and leaves him with a babysitter, which I was thinking was Alfred, and it's not. It was actually Dick Grayson, who's now Nightwing, and he's no longer Robin. What? Did that make any sense? I have to watch it. I gotta yeah. watch it. I'm just saying I'm still mad that I was not in the Dark Knight, okay? Okay, you don't even know right now. I could have I could have at least been a picture on Joker's desk or something. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, okay? I'm heartbroken. I feel like they owe me money or something. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what else to say. I had so much to say, but now. It's been 20 years. I know we already mentioned that on the on the show last week. Anyway, oh, uh, you guys, I think last week or a few weeks back, we were doing riddles, and I left you all with a riddle that said, "I hold all the keys, but there's no locks on me." If you all haven't figured it out yet. Let me give you the answer right now. It's a piano. Yeah, that was, that was a fun one. I was like, I forgot about the riddle. I, I really did. I forgot. But anyways, With I that hate said, to leave this short, but I think we should sign off. What do you think? Should we sign off or do you got to yeah. – are, are you that long-winded? J- come here, buddy. Hold on. Buddy Cash wants to talk about some stuff. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. Come here. Put this on. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay, now, okay. My game at my my game at the end. Um, the I had I had to I had to get the the back so, so I can so so I can Go ahead, it's okay. so I can stab him in the leg. That's all I have to say. bunch of toys because he's been such a good boy lately yeah. talking about random stuff but that's okay that's what we do here yeah. well we gotta go now because we are about to watch the spurs game hashtag go spurs go and you better not fuck it up this time last time you guys 
<laughs> you like, don't, don't even, don't even with me right now. Last time y'all didn't even. It was like you just gave and up. And parents, leave the room again. Parents, leave the room again. Mm -hmm. Leave, leave, leave. Go on, parents, go. Go, go, go. We'll talk to the kids again. Go, go, scurry, flee, flee. Go do something, go do something. <laughs> I see y'all there trying to, to hide. Go, go, <laughs> go. Yeah, because this ain't your part of the this show. Ain't, go this ain't your part of the show just yet. They got kids. Okay, now remember what I told you. Eat lots of candy. Don't listen in school and forget everything you've been taught. Okay? Alright. Good positive message. Alright, great. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, parents, come on back. Come on back. Come on back now. Come on back. Come on back. We'll wait. Oh, Illuminati pose. Fuck the Illuminati. Anyway. Come on back now, parents. Anyway, like us like us on Instagram at Oh, uh, her, uh, Poppycock Guild won for me, and Deke Rivers won for Deacon over there. Yeah. And you can find this miraculous show and link in our bios on our Instagram pages. And don't forget to not text and drive. Don't take any wooden nickels. And remember, it's all about peace, love, and happiness. Yeah, and send us messages if you want to. If not, that's okay, too. I want to thank all the four people sitting in a little hut. In Delaware. <laughs> in Delaware, listening to this. And the one person in Alaska in a little igloo that listens yeah. to us. We we really appreciate your viewership, and we know that you're out there, even though you guys don't comment, but we know that you listen, and that's okay. So we're going to say goodbye now. Go Spurs, go. And, and kids, remember what I taught you. Stay in school. <laughs> and save the Texas Prairie Chicken. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Say goodbye, goodbye everyone. Bye. We goodbye. love you. Bye. Goodbye.